What's up, Jibo people? Today I'm gonna teach you how to play Where It Ends by Bailey Zimmerman. It's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Intro. Verse one, two, three, four. Chorus. Okay, so the strumming is the hardest part of this song. Mute all the strings. It's shuffled 16, so you're gonna go tick a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck a tuck. Okay, but the strumming pattern goes like this down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down. Let me move to this camera, maybe you'll be able to see it better. One, two, three, four, down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. You don't have to palm mute the strings, but you can. It makes it sound a little bit better. Okay, so the, the, the key with the strumming is getting the accent on the third down and on the down there near the end. So it's like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. And that's where the snare drum is in the song. Okay, so then we come to the chords. Once you have the strumming pattern down, the chords are pretty simple. We've got an E minor seven, Wonderwall chord, going to G. What I like to do is keep this finger open so you can later do still. Going to the D over F sharp. You could also play a D like this with the thumb on the F sharp. Or you could just use a normal D, mute the top string, or just don't play it. All right, that's the that's the basic chords. There's nothing fancy with the chords. The intro to my ear sounds a little bit different than the verse, but you could just play the verse. So the intro goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then D. That's what it sounds like the intro to me. The verse is just plain and simple. And in the chorus, we've got half a bar in each chord. That's why the lines are there, just to say those two chords share a bar. C. after the D. All right, you can also use this shape for D if you want to use this shape for she like That's a really nice shape for D. It's like a D at 11 chord. That's also a nice one for E minor. 5 on here, 7 on here. Great song. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Boom, baby. Another tutorial done. In the bag. <laughs>